Hello everyone, my name is Holly and I'm going to be talking about the new consumer or and or shopping <laughs> today. Um, how the consumer or the, sh how we have, we as consumers, as people who have shopped, have changed the way that we do things and have changed the way we shop for goods. Um, and so we're going to go through and talk about that and read an article. We'll start out actually by reading an article and then we'll go through vocabulary and then from then on we will um, uh, uh, do some discussions and some vocabulary activities. So that is that is the plan for day. And also so possibly some some grammar as well, depending on if we have the time. So that that is the plan. Let me show you. Um, the very bear with me. I'll going to screen share and show you the lesson. So uh, we'll start out um, with a vocabulary. Hi hello Abim Abimelech. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good, pretty good. So we're going to start out with a vocabulary activity and then we'll pretty much run to uh, reading and then more vocabulary and possibly grammar and we'll practice speaking as much as possible. So that's the plan for today. Um, so uh, what have you been doing the last few hours? Uh, after first class uh, I, went, uh, I went to church and came back, ate meal and Joined again, verbal uh, class. Okay, awesome. So, you see, where did you you went to sh to the store? Mm, a church. Church. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, it is Sunday, of course. <laughs> yeah. And um, Juan, how are you today? Hello. How are you? Pretty I'm good. Fine, thanks. And, and it's Juan. It's is it Juan Ma or Juan? Juan Ma. Juan Ma. Okay. So yeah. where are you? Where are you calling from, Juan Ma? I'm from Spain. Spain, from okay. Awesome. So, so it's 9 a.m. in Spain, right? Sorry. Is it 9 a.m. there? I what, don't understand. What, Sorry. What, oh, what time is it right now? Ah, it's nine 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 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, it's one in the morning for me, and um, I'm a bill um. Bill, uh, why do I have any problems with your name? Abimelech. I, I, have, to, I, Abimelech. I have to see it. I have to see it and then I can do it. Abimelech, um, what time is it in India? Uh, it's 12.30 uh, p.m. 12.30, uh, okay. So it's already afternoon there. So <laughs> Excellent. So how has your Sunday been, Abimelech? So far. Uh, so far it's uh, <laughs> awesome, awesome, and 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 Juan Ma, um, let's see, yeah, what's the weather like right now in Spain? Do you know? Uh, in Spain, here in Alicante is where I live. Uh, it's at about uh, twenty-five degrees. Already, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a warm place here. Uh huh. But awesome. today, today it's, it's cloudy, uh, but it's not usual. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I was talking to somebody, somebody a few hours ago. He was in Russia and it was raining, and then somebody else was in Mexico and it was raining. <laughs> so, <laughs> I miss so. the rain, you know, because here it's always sunny, and uh -huh. it's, uh, sometimes it's boring. Yeah, I I do like four seasons. Um, so, yeah. so wh where are you originally from? Sorry? Are you originally from uh, from that part of Spain or are you from a uh, Ah, part of yeah. I'm from the southwest south southeast, sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. Southeast. And does it have uh, a different uh weather than where yeah. you are? Uh-huh. Yeah, because in the north uh, it's uh, cold and wet and uh -huh. here it's dry and and warm. Ah, okay. So, yeah, I think a lot of people like the dry and warm. <laughs> I, I like cold. Yesterday, though, Abimelech and I were reading, we went through, there was a class, we went through on the coldest city in the world. Oh, wow. And that was, um, they said that many times they their temperature is minus 50 degrees Celsius. Wow. And and I, I think how many people were there, Abimelech? About four or five people. Uh, <clears throat> yes. 
Yeah, and I think I was the only one that said I actually want to go visit. <laughs> so, so mm -hmm. hi, Victor. How are you? Uh, hi, Holly. I'm fine, thank you. Great. Now, is it? Uh, I'm trying to figure out the times. Is it 10 a.m. right now in the Ukraine? Uh, yes. Awesome, exactly. yes. You're you right. I mean, I'm getting it. So the, the Ukraine is part of Greece and Finland and that part, a time zone, and then Spain is um, the other one. Okay. I just need to figure out um, where Igor lives in, in, uh, in uh, Siberia and then India as well. And that then I think I've got everybody's time zones figured out. Mm -hmm. and so... Anyway, well, what we're going we're going to actually talk about today is the new consumer or actually shopping. So, first of all, do you guys like to shop? Do you like to buy things? Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> how how in the last um, maybe fifteen or ten years, how has has have you changed the way you buy things? At all? And you, you before you 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 paid uh, with with cash only. Uh huh. And now you pay with credit card. Okay, that's one way that that we have changed the way we shop. And any other way? Is anybody else a change the way you shop? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, before uh, before we used to go to the store and. Uh, Buy something, but uh, uh -huh. today uh, mostly uh, buy things uh, from the internet. Okay, so so the so first of all, we went from from um, cash uh, cash to credit, a credit or debit. So that was the first one, and the second one we went from in store in store to online shopping. Okay. Any any other ways that uh, we have changed as consumers? And hello, Juan Diego and German, welcome. Is any way that you guys have changed? I think those are the two main ways that we have uh, as consumers. Does everybody know what the word consumer means? Yeah. Everybody. The people, who, the people who 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 buy the product. Yes. So it's, it is people who buy a product. Um. Buy products. Yes. And the um. It's like customers. Uh, yes. It's very similar to customer. Um. Exactly. Very similar to customer. It it actually comes from the verb to consume. To consume, which means um, to use up. That's where it comes from. So consumers use up products and then they buy more. So that's where it comes from. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by um, reading an article um, about. Uh, we're going to read an article on the next page about the changes in shopping behavior among British consumers and how brands are responding. And um, then we're going to complete the definitions with the w words below, which can all be found in different paragraphs and also in the subtitle of the text. Okay, so we're going to start out by actually by reading first off, first off, and then we'll look at the words. Okay, so that is the plan. Okay, so um, shoppers redefine value while retailers use social media. While post-recession shoppers increasingly make purchases based only on product value, brands, brands such as Coca-Cola and Oreo cookies are using social media to promote their product and engage with customers. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you Juan Diego, for letting me know. Um, you can still participate. Just write in the chat if you'd like. Um, so engage with, or are using social media to promote their product and engage with consumers. Okay, so um, what I'd like I want each person to read a paragraph at least if you are able to if your microphone is working. So um, Abimelech, could you read the first number one? Okay, uh, number one. 
Consumers have completely changed their, their shopping behaviors. According to a July 23 report by business intelligence provider Euromonitor. Okay, so consumers have completely changed their shopping behaviors, which we've already decided that, right? Yes. So, and um, number two, um, Victor, can you read that? Yep. All right. According to the report, consumers are now more comfortable using coupons, searching for the best price and looking for deals. Okay. Now, for you guys as consumers, do you search for com uh, coupons, search for the best price and look for deals when you shop? Yes, of no. course. Yes? If somebody said no, who said no? I said no. Uh, it means uh, when you're looking for uh, the best price. Uh huh. Oh yes. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I know some resources uh, who pro who uh, which provide you uh, the best price. Uh huh. On okay. Internet, for okay. And yeah, and I mean, I don't. I only use coupons with restaurants. <laughs> So, but I do search for the best price and I look for deals sometimes. Um, okay, let's re read number three. Um, let's go with uh, one Ma, Can you read number three? Yeah. Uh, most importantly, consumers have redefined value, whereas before the recession, consumers saw value as a combination of product quality and range of product of options. Consumers now define value in terms of price only. Consumers now are placing a greater emphasis on needs rather than wants or desires. The report also found, found that consumers are becoming increasingly concerned about the authenticity of the product and want, and want to know where it came from and how it was manufactured. Okay, so concerned are increasingly concerned and manufactured. Manufactured. Oh, yeah. Okay, so often, often tens, I can't say that word. Authenticity. Uh, aren't you glad even your English teacher can't read, can't say some words? Okay, authenticity. What does that mean? And the the true of of something. Of some uh huh. Word. Okay, so is it is it real? <laughs> Is it real or is it fake? Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Is there any other any words in here? The rest of you, does everybody understand all the words? Uh, what does uh, recession mean? Okay, recession is uh, about the. It's an economic uh, word, and it's about basically. Um, I'm not going to write it on here because it's easy. Um, there's basically. Uh, in English, there's a depression. Depression is when there's a, a, a major economic downturn. No one has jobs. Uh, the price is very high. Then there's a recession. And then there's uh, a boom. Okay. This is uh, a boom. Is when it's a, it's a a major economic upturn. And this is um, jobs are are good. Everyone has money. Okay. Has money and everyone everyone is spending. Okay, spending money. So, um, what basically the the idea here is um, there we go. Uh, the idea here is that um, that the um, bear with me a moment. I'm going to try to draw something if I can find the draw. Um, in, I can't find it. Oh, oh, oh. Um, the the re a recession so that's a depression is when it when the economy is bad 
or a boom is when the economy is good, and a recession is when the uh, when the economy goes from boom to recession to de depression. So it's when it when when the economy economic econ economy is on its way uh, down to a depression. In Spain, we 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 have heard. Uh, the two first uh, words uh, all day so on the uh, TV. Yeah, and I think right now in Spain, I've heard from many people, and in the U.S., right now it's a recession. Yeah. Um, and, and everybody is concerned about it moving to a depression where the people lose their jobs and there, nobody has money to spend and and things like that. So it's a, it's a, a big... Um, Big problem that yeah. people people are concerned about the economic downturn. Exactly. Does everyone understand? Yes, it makes sense. I actually wrote a. I actually did a presentation on those words when I was in college, <laughs> so <laughs> in an economics class. <laughs> okay, um, let's go on to number four. Um, okay. <laughs> Can you do number four? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's You're used to this. Okay. Uh, retailers are uh, recreating to these... Re okay, reacting? Are uh, reacting th to these shifting trends by... Okay. Bear with me a moment. By offering consumers increasingly customized and targeted experiences while shopping and more focused marketing strategies. Okay, everybody understand these words. So yes, no. I don't know what means focus. Focused. Okay. Um, to focus is uh, to uh, target, um, uh, like for example, a company. Uh, for example, okay, verbally, verbling's focus. Verbling's uh, focus is is on um, language training. Okay. Okay. So that's that's just an example on how to use the word focus. So in this one, uh, uh, see, they're they're focusing on uh, changing the way they advertise to consumers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Next one. Um, Jermaine, did you read number five? One question. Yes. Yes. Yes, Abimelech. Uh, does straight uh, does straight desi means uh, planning? Which word? Uh, strategy. Strategies. strategies. Yeah, yeah. So they they're focusing on market. A strategy would be uh, a way they they do some like for example um, with with advertising for the marketing. Okay, the different uh, different types of marketing strategies. Um, uh, would be um, stuff like um, uh, print print advertising. Okay. TV advertising. And I spelled that wrong. Advertising <laughs> and and um, word of mouth. Okay. These are these are uh, marketing strategies or advertising strategies. So, so yeah. So that's what they're focusing on. Very good question. Any other words? They're tailors. Tailors? R retailers. Retailers. Okay. Retailers. Okay. Retailers, right here, right here. Um, yes. Are, are you going to start reading? No, I, I don't know what the okay. word. Uh, retailers. Okay. Um, Let's see. I'm gonna to go to Google um, Google Images for that one. Hopefully, it works. Um, this is the best example of a retailer. They're basically shops and stores, usually grocery stores, but it could be like a a computer store, any type of store that you you purchase from, is a retailer. Okay.
Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, did I ask somebody to read this? A German? Did Did I ask you to read it? Yes. You, you've already okay. Okay. Number five. Uh, retailers are also taking note of consumer frustrations in response to growing consumer anger at packing, packing, packaging, packaging, waste and packaging. Okay. Waste, waste and develop, developing, develop, developing environment concerns. Retailers are offering more wholesome uh, products that use less packing, packaging, and are recyclable. Okay, so these are some there's some hard words to pronounce here. So anger at packaging waste and developing environmental concerns. Uh, retailers are offering more wholesome products that use less packaging and are recyclable. Um, any words here that you guys do not know? And anger. 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 Um, anger. Sorry. Anger. Anger. Anger is an emotion. Um, and I'm gonna, angry. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Let, let's let me show, the, show you the pictures I've got. This is anger. <laughs> the, the, so you would say they feel anger, or they there is anger, or they are angry. So, <clears throat> so basically, they're saying that consumers are angry at um, at not uh, at packaging waste and and uh, um, messing with the environment. <laughs> So, any other words? They don't like plastic uh, bags. That's one example, yeah. <laughs> yes? Wholesome, wholesome product? Oh, wholesome. Um, wholesome is, um, the best way that I can think of for that is, uh, well, wholesome, um, bear with me a moment, let me I'm gonna try, try something. Mm. Wholesome products um, are products that are um, uh, have um, healthy ingredients. Uh, for example, uh, let me show you. Um, these these are. Uh, for example, this one, this is, um, where was it, uh, where did I see it, there was cereal here, um, but maybe this product, it's organic, organic sugar, organic, um, and so it's it's wholesome, it's healthy. Okay. So, uh, honey right here, it's wholesome. Okay, any other words? Okay. Um, number six. Um, one more. Can you read that? Of course. Uh, brands are also using more social networking sites such as Twitter and Facebook to engage with cons custom customers. According to Facebook monitoring page of Facebook.com, several retailers, including coffee chain Starbucks, soft drink manufacturer Coca-Cola, Oreo cookies, and energy drink Red Bull were among the top 30 most popular pages on Facebook. Okay. So have you guys liked pages on Facebook? Yeah. Everybody's done that? I, I don't think I have for uh, products, but maybe I have. I don't know. I have for TV shows. <laughs> so... Um, <clears throat> Okay, so this this article is basically saying that you know we had we had said in the beginning that the way that um, the way the consumer had changed is cash to credit and debit and in store in store to online shopping, but this article is actually saying that um, we we as consumers have changed the way that we look at our products. We want the products to be healthy, 
and we we aren't trusting cons the retailers to be honest with us. Um, would you say that, that that is true? That are you guys do you guys care more about the quality of your product when you buy things? Yes. It's up to the items. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Okay. For example, I when I buy the computer, I check the price and uh, spec uh -huh. uh, and compare, uh -huh. these, and I buy it. I I became more careful about buying such kind of device. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, well um, and some people, as consumers, they only look at price or they'll ask the salesperson and they'll say, is this good for my needs? And the salesperson will say, yes, and then it's not good for your needs. <laughs> That's what happened to me. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> okay, so how about, somebody else gonna, was going to speak when Ake started. Who was that? It, 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 um, the, to repeat the question, are you a, a different consumer in the fact that you, do you care about the quality of your products that you buy? Mm, uh, yes, uh, whenever I buy electronics or uh -huh. uh, that kind of stuff, uh, I always uh, uh, concern for uh, how long uh, how long will it be uh, will it give service mm -hmm. yeah uh, yeah so the quality of the product and so forth yeah <clears throat> when, when I when I when I buy uh, on the internet I usually uh, check the comments of the customers yes mm -hmm. uh, check the reviews and and so forth. Do you, do you find that that is helpful, at least for electronics? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I, I think some of you know last week, on Monday, I bought a new computer and we did we bought it online and um, we, we checked the comments after we bought it and and they said it was supposed to be a 32-bit, and it came. It was a 64-bit, just like the comment said. <laughs> but and, you, you check the comments if, uh, after buy. I did. Yeah, somebody else actually decided on the on it, but and we we actually went in to buy. We bought two two of the same computers, and so I let them choose, and then I checked the comments after we ordered it, and I saw that, and I thought, oh, oh well, um, 32, 64 bit to me for my purposes, it doesn't matter. So, um, but it was I thought it was kind of funny. So. Um, let's go ahead and look at these uh, vocabulary words, and um, we've got authenticity, engage with, redefine, concerned, frustration, shift, coupon, purchase, and wholesome. Okay, so let's see if we can uh, add these two um, <coughs> to the definitions. Um, what is something that you buy? Purchase. It's a noun, though. Purchase is a... To purchase, that would be a, a verb. Okay. Well, no, I, I guess you're right. Purchase something that you buy. You purchase? Because I think there's no other word. Yeah, there's no other word, but it's still. I, well, I guess purchase as a noun. Yeah. Okay. Um. Worried. What word is worried? Concerned. Concerned. Yes. Okay. And what word is to give a new meaning to something? Should be defined. Redefine, Re yes. Yeah. Oh, redefine. Okay. And to communicate with somebody. Engage with. Yes. So if, if you engage with your customers or engage with your com consumers, you are communicating with them. 
Yeah, a piece of paper that allows you to pay less for something or get it for free. Coupon. 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 Okay. Oops, spelled that wrong. And how real or true is something? Authenticity. Authenticity. Authenticity, yes. And good for you, for example, a something product. Wholesome. Wholesome, yes. And an another way that wholesome is used is, um, you know, healthy but also a family friendly. Uh, so if you hear about um, a wholesome, um, a wholesome movie, um, you know that it's a movie that you can take your children to, and you don't have to worry about any um, adult content. So that's for another all way. Ages. Excuse me. For all ages. Eight yes. Ages. Exactly for all ages. So you can say if you if you see wholesome movie or wholesome book, that's really what it's all about. So it's for all ages exactly. Um, to change from one position to another. Shift. Shift. Yeah. And something that annoys you and makes life harder. And that Emotion. would be the last one. Frustration. Frustration. Okay. Okay, so let's let's talk let's try to use these words, okay? As much as possible. Um so I'm gonna start with um Victor. Yes. Victor, tell us about the last coupon that you used when you were out uh, as a consumer. Uh, mm. The last uh, coupon I used to... Uh, 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 when I got present from Verbling, <laughs> I don't know. Well, you got a coupon from Verbling? Yes. Oh, really? Okay, awesome. <laughs> well, that's nice. Did ever, has everybody else gotten a coupon from Verbling yet? Yes. Okay. I haven't gotten one. <laughs> Maybe I need to start studying Spanish, and then I'll get one. So, okay. Um... Okay, so verbling coupon that works. Um, uh, Victor, can you choose one of these question, these words, and see if you can uh, form a question and ask somebody else a question? Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I can. Uh, I should ask uh, some guy. Yes. Somebody. Yeah. Anyone yes. in the in the room a question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Akka, uh, what uh, what was your last purchase? Oh, my last purchase uh the delicacy food. Uh, from shopping mall, supermarket. What food? Uh, very custom food, kind of prepared food. Prepared food, okay. Prepared for uh, so pre pre custom. Did you say pre cut? What did uh, you say? Dairy custom. Dairy custom. Dairy deli custom. Okay, so pre so basically pre pre uh pre made food from the deli. Yes. Okay. All right. It was it good? Yeah, it's good. And uh, if I go to the supermarket late, I can get uh, these uh, half price. Ah. Sometimes more. Yeah. More okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Can you choose a word or um, and try to uh, form a question and ask somebody? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, for example, uh, 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 sorry, uh, I don't know the pronouns. Juana? Juana? Uh, one, 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 
Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, do you like using coupon? Yes, I like using coupon. And next next week, I'm going to go on holiday with a coupon. Oh, so really? Hotel, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to to the mountains, to the Pyrenees. Pyrenees. I don't know how 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 is pronounced it. It's uh, the mountain, pronounced. the mountain uh, between Spain and France. And France. I, 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 Pyrenees. Yeah. Pyrenees. Yeah. I, I I'm not I'm not sure of the pronunciation either, but I've heard it called the Pyrenees or something like that. So. Mm. Have you been there before? Uh, no, I I I have never been there. It's my awesome. first time. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, one more. Can you choose a word and ask a question? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, to German. Uh, when when did you? When did you feel frustration about something? Okay. So, or you can say, yeah, that's a very good question. I had less uh, fr um, frustration was uh, yesterday when I just uh, arrived at home um, before working and I forgot uh, my keys at at the uh, at office. Oh. So you got so I you, can't, I you return, couldn't entry at home. Oh, so you returned home after working, and yes, you realized and you your keys were at the office. Yes, and I have to come back uh, for my keys and then go going to home okay, again. Okay, so, so you had to ret <laughs> return to the office and then return home. Oh wow. Yes, and was a little bit frustration when I was uh, outside at home and I can't enter. Uh huh. And I couldn't. Do this. Um, how um, how long did it take you to go back home, back to work, and then back back home again? Really, uh, it's really a cool. Close and ten minutes. At least it car. wasn't an hour or something like that. Yes, but uh, I was a little tired and and I uh, I was a little bit angry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Makes sense. Has any has anybody else ever done that? Where you left your keys anywhere? So I bought an alarm to stick with my key. I often it have all happened to me. Oh really? So you so you you were able you were able to get some high tech gadget to keep your key with you? Yeah, not with me. If I lost the the key, I uh -huh. push the remote remote control button and a, a kind of alarm beeps. So, oh. So I can find okay. where it is. Yeah, I had I had a time when it was my second year in Finland and I could not speak Finnish very well. Um, I walked out of the house during the, during a weekend and um, I locked my keys in the house. Ah. Uh, and I, <laughs> I and I um, was out for 24 hours. I could not get a hold of anybody who had my the extra key. So I, I ended up having to stay with a friend at a friend's house. And l I was very lucky as a foreigner that I actually had friends. <laughs> so um, anyway, next question. Um, German, could you ask a question? No, one more. Who, who just answered that question? That was German. OK. Um, OK. Abhimelik. Uh, yeah. I feel like, um, yes. What is uh, what it's the most uh, the most, what is the most thing that you have uh, concert now? So what was the most what? Uh, the most uh, thing. Oh, most thing you're concerned about. Okay. Yes. Uh, so 
So I'm going to change the question a little bit, okay, Chairman? Uh, what uh, what are you concerned about the most right now? Okay. Okay. What are uh, you concerned about the most right now? Uh, right now, uh, I'm mostly concer uh, concerned about uh, my English <laughs> because uh, I'm trying to learning uh, from many years and uh, still I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, are you, are you struggling with actually producing and using the language, or are you st struggling with understanding? Uh, I uh, I'm struggling means uh, uh, I cannot speak uh, properly. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. And so j just to encourage you on that one, um, when it comes to language acquisition, which means learning a language, English is English goes like this. First, uh, uh, it's reading. You learn to read, right? Uh, second is listening. Mm -hmm. Third is um, sp speaking and writing, and they, they happen at the same time. And so a lot of times we, we read and we listen, and but when it comes to, and this is what we call, um, the first two are called receptive skills, so which means we, we can hear, we can understand, and the second one is they're called productive skills. And... Um, and that comes that actually comes later so you're actually right at the right you're 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 totally fine because now you can listen you can understand you can read and now the speaking is coming and so um so and what you just need to do is just continue of course verbally is great because you can continue coming here and just practice speaking as much as possible um uh, yeah. Yeah, I had a, a student once, she was uh, in Finland, it was my first student, one of my first students, she was a secretary for a company, and she said it this way, she said, Holly, I have um, studied English, oops, English for 20 years, because I, I want to use it now. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I, I had just finished graduate school, and I heard her say that, and I went, and I totally, it didn't completely change the way I teach, but it changed a bit, because that is so true. So mo many of you guys have studied grammar, and you've studied so much of the language for many, many years, but it's actually producing and using the language, which is, is what's, what's so crucial and what's so important, so... So I think, for, uh, uh, just as a as an English teacher, Abimelech, you're right. You're on the you're right on the right path. Path. So, mm -hmm. so you are you're doing fine. So just keep just keep tra uh, practicing and and uh, and so forth. So, so that's my little English teacher spill on that one. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, okay, Abimelech, could you choose a word and ask, um, I guess, ask Aka a question? Uh, okay. Or anyone, actually anybody, doesn't... Uh, anyone, from any word. Yeah, whoever uh, wants, whoever you want to, I... Okay, uh, uh, Zuena or Wana? Wanma. Wanma, yeah. Wanma, uh... Wanma, uh when you when you show up something, uh, do you check uh, the authenticity of that uh, that stuff? Okay. So when you shop for something, do you consider the authenticity of the item? So. Uh, yes, uh, I usually check the authenticity because I think that's important uh, for the for the quality of the product. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, and um, do you, do you, as guys, and this is a question for you guys, um, being a female, uh, for, do you guys care um, about the uh, quality or the authenticity of your clothing 
or is it just women? Do you guys, do you care about the quality of your clothing? Not so much, but uh, if I buy a low quality clothes, it cannot be long, cannot be a, in a good situation. Yeah, lo, lo, I cannot uh, wear that clothes not so long time. Uh huh. So, yeah. I, I hear the quality, but uh, not the authenticity. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, so you care, but it's not that big of a deal. How about you, uh, Wan Ma? Do you care about the quality of your clothing? Uh, yes. Uh, I usually um, um, uh, I, I like to, to wear uh, with, with brands, and mm -hmm. I want to, to, to buy... Uh, Authenticity products. Authentic. So we'd authentic. say authentic uh, for as a as an adjective. You would say authentic, authentic, authentic products. Authentic products. Okay, perfect. And German, do you care? Yes, I I, um, I care because um, if you are going to buy, for example, uh, pants, mm -hmm. um, I have to realize the authentic. Uh, authenticity, mm -hmm. because uh, it's it's not the same as if you buy something that is not. Uh, I mean the the cloth. Um, uh -huh. It could it, it could um, it could stay more um, for for a long time. Okay, so if it if you actually have a brand that is authentic. Then you'll probably have that uh, that article of clothing for a long time. Okay, Abimelech, do you care about the quality uh, of your clothing? <clears throat> it depends on uh, what uh, what I am uh, what I am buying. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, I uh, I don't care because uh, I want to buy clothes uh, that are uh, that are in fa in fashion. Uh, means mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to say. Yeah. In trend. I, I, in fashion uh, is perfect. Uh huh. Okay. And um, it depends on uh, what I'm buying. Okay, so it depends on depends on what you're buying and and so forth and and what your the purpose of the, of buying it and so forth. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because I I've always wondered. Um, I know as women we care a lot more about you know care about clothing and whether it's authentic or not. But I've never asked a group of guys. <laughs> so. Mm. Match the words to form phrases from the text and complete the sentences below and then change the ten tense of the verb if possible. So um, what would be place, what word would we use place with? Any idea? Any idea? I'm actually going to... Or if you want to guess another one, number two, three, or four as well. I think we the 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 four word. Uh, uh, people place about environmental uses. uses. No, excuse me. Uh, Pla place. Place. Go uh, after people. After the word the word people. Oh, please, so place, um, possibly, but let's let's look at this because what these are. Let's this these four words actually go with these four words. Ah, so okay. We're, and so we're first going to do that. So I'm sorry. Yeah. So we no worries. We uh, I wasn't very clear when I explained it. Emphasis. So we place emphasis on something. Uh, this it might be a new phrase for you guys. To place emphasis means to. Uh, right now we're talking. Uh, earlier, I was placing an em uh, emphasis on quality of clothing. That's what we talked about just now. So, okay, make. What would be that? Would that be? It could be make uh, make emphasis, uh, or no. it's not possible. Yeah, well, emphasis has already been chosen. So, 
Yeah, I know, but but I I I thought that you can also use make emphasis, but it's not. Uh, mm -mm. But it doesn't work. Um, doesn't not, exist. Not this, no, no. So okay. we place emphasis. We uh, no, we don't make emphasis. We what other verb would go with emphasis? Um, like a purchase. Make a purchase. Make a purchase. Yes. Make a purchase. Okay, next one. Become. Become concerned. Con concerned. Yes. Become concerned. And next one. <clears throat> Take a note. Take note. Yeah, last one. Easiest one. Okay, so you guys know what these mean. Place emphasis, make a purchase, become concerned, and take note. So, um, the, yes? The, the first one, I, I, I don't know, place emphasis. Um, a place emphasis is, is when you, um, it's basically you concentrate on something, concentrate on, on something um, more than a, another. For example, if you take uh, an English class and the con and and the name of the English class is prepositions. Then when when um, you when the t when you talk, the teacher will place emphasis on the prepositions. So whatever it is that you're doing, uh, th whatever the people are concentrating on, they're placing the emphasis on that. Okay. Okay. It's kind of a hard concept at first. So make a purchase. Does everybody know take note? Yeah. Okay. Do you guys know the the um, the your it's a European um, oh parentheses for that. Have you guys ever seen this in B? Is is it a brand? It's it's basically it's 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 I think it's originally Greek or it, Italian or something like that, but a lot of times you'll see a, a note in American English. We'll say we'll use the word um, we'll it, uh, we'll use FYI for your information, but in in Europe um, they they use NB and and basically it's in front of a and on top of a note it'll be NB and then uh, NB, the, sh the shop is closed tomorrow. Take note, the shop will be closed tomorrow. Take note, um, drive safely. Uh, so it, it, it's usually on um, uh, casual signs, usually on signs in places. So NB will actually means take note. And it's something that I learned when I was in Europe. I was like, what is this? So um, let's see if we can finish this, uh, sen these sentences. Um, uh, uh, Abimelech, would you read the first sentence? Uh, in many countries, consumers tend to... Uh, a lot of... Uh, tend to make a lot of purchases during the Christmas uh, Christmas period. Okay, so make, good, make a lot of purchases. During the Christmas period, perfect. Um, okay, can you do the next one? Okay, uh, our product is more expensive than our competitors, so we need to place emphasis on quality during the sales meeting. Yes, perfect. We'll concentrate on or place emphasis. Perfect. Emphasis. Okay. Um, German. Next sentence. Uh, since the last latest is la latest Jesus, uh, news report on global warming, um, people. Um, People place emphasis. Um, no, no. Pe people become concerned about 
environmental issues. Yeah, so people have become concerned about people environment. Have. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next, the last one, uh, one more. We need to take note of the current economic climate before deciding how to price our products. Yes, and the current economic climate instead of climate, climate. Climate. Yeah, before deciding how to price our product. Does everybody understand this current economic climate, what that means? I don't know what means current. Okay, current is right now. At this moment. Yes, at this moment, exactly. So, um, so in this in this respect, they they're asking um, how in this the current economic climate is how are the consumers spending money? So, if if the uh, current economic climate is bad student uh, the consumers are not spending money if the current economic climate is good that means the, the consumers are spending money so um, all right any questions so the current economic climate doesn't relate to the inflation or deflation mm -mm. just the it, consumers it's been pretty much uh, when it comes to climate, because climate comes from weather, right? Is it cold or is it hot? So how are the when it comes to economic climate, it's how are the consumers spending their money? Okay. So if the if the the client if there's a downturn in the the in in the economy, uh, the the idea would be that the consumers would not be spending money very well. And okay. so it would. So that that what you just asked, it's related. But it, but usually when you're talking about economic climate, it's what it's a concentration on the consumers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. Discuss any of the following questions. Okay. Um, Juan Ma, can you choose a question and ask somebody else? Okay. Uh, the first question. Oh, oh, will be one of the four. You could voluntold them. <laughs> you guys know that word. Uh, okay, you can. To 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 have it, have him, have him like, have him me like. Have him like. Okay. He's used to me uh, doing that. <laughs> how how do the trends and changes in the UK compared to your country? Uh, okay, the trends and changes uh, in the UK compared to my country is, uh, I think uh, it's, uh, I can say it is uh, same as in the UK because, uh, because uh, at the moment uh, the prices of, uh, prices of everything are increasing and uh, this is uh, this is a concern issue for everybody to uh, think about it and uh, to, to think about it and uh, save money for future. Uh, that's why people are uh, people are uh, people uh, people always uh, check uh, when. Check authenticity of the products and uh, everything mm -hmm. uh, uh, when they pur purchase something. And uh, they are also con concerned about uh, um, price of uh, prices of uh, things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is. You would say that it's very similar between India and the UK. So. I, um, um, Malak, I want to give you. A, I hope that this is a compliment, so it's a little bit of feedback. I, I, what I find interesting about your speaking is you do not have. Um, can everybody hear? Yeah, you can hear me. You do not have an Indian accent. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, so it went. It, 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 I would not know that you were from India the way you speak English. So that's very good, actually. So, do you guys hear an Indian accent from him? No. Yeah. 
Um, so that's, I, I just realized, just to be encouraged. So, um, uh, Abimelech, can you choose a question? Uh, okay, this will be for uh, German. Uh, do you think uh, changes in consumer behavior are permanent or temporary? Uh, I think um, the change in customer behavior are um, temporality, temporary. Uh, can you uh, can you explain that? Um, yes, um, because um, for example, uh, it's more common on on girls and women women so because they are change. Uh, uh, her her humor uh, every day. Yeah. Okay, so uh, especially uh, you're actually talking about because women are moody. Uh, yes. The, the women, the female consumer is moody. <laughs> that's that's uh, good. Maybe um, one dress could like it, uh, and then the another day and the the same. Dress uh, don't like anymore. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and you guys have a hard time knowing what to do about us women. That's great. Um, so thank you very much. I hope you guys learned uh, some new words and uh, ways of using the words. And um, uh, have a wonderful day. We're we're in India, Japan, German. You're in s Italy. Mexico. Or it's Me Mexico, okay. So it's late for you. And then um, Spain. So have a wonderful day in German. Uh, like me, we should be in bed right now, but we're night owls, so. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you later.